Okay, guys, welcome back. We are going to continue on in Z Survival with Videl on Super Dragon Ball Z on the PlayStation 2. So, yes, that's what we're going to do right now. Now, I give her defense. All right, let's do but it. hopefully, we're, we're going to continue on what we're doing, of course, with Videl. She's a, she's a very fun character. She really is. She has a lot of good combination attacks and some of her skills, but she kind of lacks a little bit of power. Just a little bit, but... I mean, I it is what it is. Are you ready? But for the meantime, let's continue Fight on. And Fight! at the same time, I'll try my best to, you know, see what other skills are better or maybe change some stuff. But we'll see. I think I think the only part about her is just, like I said, her health is not that good. I mean, not the best, but she is a human character, unlike the other ones but of course i'm only gonna do probably like one or two rounds of these of depending on where i finish but of course you do get to change the camera angles <laughs> i don't know why it's only the females that you could change the camera angles i don't know why but i guess i guess oh man i need that dragon ball i need them so i could get more colors I wish there were some other modes besides just Arcane Mode and Z Survival. Because I feel like there's so many other options they could have done here, but or like just little mini games, maybe, as well. Just to have a little bit more fun than doing Z Survival over and over again. I mean it's it's not bad once you get like used to all the characters and how to play, but you know, I think if they added more extra modes, I think it would have made it much more fun. And you're able to collect at least the Dragon Balls a little bit more quicker than anything else. But we'll see. We'll see. There's still a lot of Dragon Balls that I still have not collected. And I'm still unsure if I have everything I need for all the wishes or like what other wishes am I missing or how do I get them. So let's fight again, wife versus the mom, or grandma. There we go. Aha, uh -huh, command grab. That should be it. Oh no. Oh, I couldn't continue. Come on. It would have been awesome if she had like a special quote for her. But I guess it was that point where they still do not know. Oh man. They still do not know who who they were at the time, I guess. For a little bit. I'm going all out. But I wonder what he will say with Ultimate Go Home. If I ever have a chance to fight him. There we go. Very nice damage. No. Oh. Damn, all the way that high? Jeez. Good damage. Man, that's pretty good damage just by doing those simple. Look at that. Look at that. Pretty good. Hope it's not because Gohan has defense low, like in one of his skills. Because you're able to have that, but hopefully it's not one of those skills. But oh well. There we go, finally. I think this is gonna be the most important part whenever I am, I am gonna collect the Dragon Balls, just focus on the Dragon Balls. Nothing else. But so let's see. Aw, oh, he was not close enough. Nice. I mean, her defense is showing off, but uh, he has a sense of being right. Yep. 
It's too bad that the Sesame Bean doesn't even give you that much health. Like, it's decent. Not, not even decent. It's just still too low, but... It is a sense of being. I mean, you get brought back to life to see if you could defeat the character. <gasps> three Dragon Balls. There we go. Wow, I've never seen three before, and that's the first time for me. I wonder how it is for if it goes higher, but I think three is the most I ever gotten. Or that I have seen so far. Come on, so Oh, good thing I blocked that. Come on, I'm like so close and yet I still can't get him. Wow. Oh, well, there we go. Well, GG's on that. Uh, should I do it again? I think... You know what? I think we could do it again. Let's do it one more time, cuz... It's too bad that we finish it off there, but... It is what it is. It is what it is. So... Nothing much you could do with Cell, cuz he... I don't know, he has that... You know... Um... That move that kind of glows around him whenever he does a super dash. Like he, he gets a positive frame or something like that. So he's able to attack after he does that, like a super dash and everything. So I'm just like, what the hell? Oh, I wish it would. I wish it could have wall banged there. That would have been awesome. Oh, we got a perfect. Oh, I didn't even know. You don't want to fight. Feel like she just said you just don't want to fight. Huh. Interesting. Just get two Dragon Balls. Just need two more. You're not even. Final round. But I do hopefully Final. like enough like. Because I'm also thinking about this whenever I hear a lot about Dragon Ball Fighters. It's just like, you know, how... How are they going to do it if they make another another game out of it? Like, how are they going to do it or... Oh man, he dodged out of the way. Why is nobody attacking? Okay, that's very weird, but oh well. Just give me the perfect. Yeah, she said the same thing. I guess maybe a perfect victory speech or quote, whatever. But I do wonder when when it happens, you know, like for the next Dragon Ball Z Fighters game, like are they going to continue off with more DLC? Or are they going to make a new game out of it? Because... And that's one thing I like about Dragon Ball. Uh, Dragon Ball games that... You have so many characters to play as, to defeat as, and just to learn all their moves, all their super attacks, regular attacks and everything, but I think it's just like how many characters can be put in the game to make it fun, you know? Just make it fun. Oh. No. Nope. Okay, I didn't want that, but well, that's fine by me. And every time that happens, and when I see the new Dragon Ball Z games coming out, I'm just like, it's good that he have the characters, but it's just like, I, I'm, th I'm thinking they're just, oh man, I don't know, we already got all the Dragon Balls, that's fine. But it feels like they're just copy and pasting. They're just like, oh, here. Gets another character of Goku, but he changed up his moveset. There's another character of Goku, he changed up his moveset. 
he has the Kyle Ken times 20 and the Meteor Crash. Like, that's all he has. Oh, but you want to play Super Saiyan Goku, where you could play Super Saiyan Goku when he does an angry Kamehameha or does a rad Kamehameha. You know, like, like, I'd like that, but if you just got to copy and paste a character over and over again, just because, you know, there's so many versions of him. Nice. I love that. I mean, that's nice, but like, where's the variety on that? Because I know whenever I see Xeno versus a roster, there's a lot of characters. But when you select one character, like I said, Goku or Vegito or anybody else, they have so many characters. I just do not know which one I like the best because all of them have basically the same thing. It's just, oh, we just changed their super attacks. Like, that's it. I'm just like, that's that's kind of lazy, in my opinion. Because, yeah, I understand that you want to show off so many characters from the, from the series and everything. Oh. But whenever I go back and, you know, just remember the other games, I, uh, how you say it? Like from Ranging Blast to Tenkaishi to Budokai to Burst Limit or even this game too, like Oh, I don't know I don't know why you she went that way, but I guess Ah, uh, he has sense of being like The one thing I really adore about those games is that you're able to customize your character and uh, especially like in the PlayStation 3 era, you're able to just switch out their movesets. I think I'm, like, I'm, I'm not sure Raging, Raging Blast 1 had that, but I know Raging Blast 2. You could switch out their moveset. Like, oh, you don't want the instant transmission? You could take it off and get like the Saiyan, Saiyan Rage, something like that to boost up their attacks. Or you don't want, uh, let's say... Uh, you don't want the special bean cannon, you want the hell zone grenade. You could do that as well, you just have to change the moveset. Like, oh, I want this one, I want the other one. Or I want that one, I want this other skill. And that's all you have to do, is just switch out. Or give us another character, but... You know, every time we do a transformation, it shows us the original, you know... Oh, nice counter. It shows us the original, you know, skills that that person has, but then once we transform, it changes. And that's what I like, that's what a lot of people like about in Tenkaishi. And also probably in a Raging Blast, uh, Raging Blast as well, and maybe a little bit in Budokai, but... You know, you were able to change our moves, put them in, put them back, and everything like that. But it's just that nowadays on these new Dragon Ball Z games, I just don't feel, how you say it, motivated or I don't even want to interact with them because it's just, you're just flying around, it's just 3D battles, fighting the air battles, like that's it. It's never like, right now as I'm playing it, like on the ground, like fighting on the ground. But we got a new one, I wonder what it is. You can wish for... I want a better outfit. Oh. Gain a special costume. Oh, okay. I think we're going to get that. So I wonder what these other ones then. I guess we just got to keep getting more Dragon Balls then. So I want a better outfit. I think it's going to be her pick toes. I mean, a special costume. But that's what I really want for further Dragon Ball Z games, because... Like, I know what they did with Dragon Ball Heroes, the one that came out for the PC, if I'm correct. Like, that one is kind of like... Eh. Car games. Like, car games are okay, but not what I want to do. Ever since I played Dragon Ball Z games, they've always been... Fight each other, fight one-on-one, -on -one, and just... Go out, like, how it is in the show, you know? Aha! Uh -huh, so you do get her pigtail ones. That's pretty cool. Oh, well, too bad, guys. I guess we just have to save ourselves next time. So if you do want to 
see me play as her in her pigtails, make sure to follow me in Twitch, because that's where I am going to, of course, try to collect all the other colors. But there we go. Technically, it's the blue one. I thought she would have her original colors, but I guess that's it. I mean, there's nothing special about it. You just change your hair, but that's pretty cool. That's really cool. So we got Raging, Ra Raging Storm. Stop an oncoming attack and counter with an uppercut. So it's kind of like the same thing as Vegeta. Or I could go all the way and Lightning Flash. If it hits, the opponent is hurled up into the air. Oh man, you know what? Let's try this because I feel like, hey, why not? More different attacks. But yeah, guys, I guess that's pretty much it. That's it for Videl. And like I said, next time, like I said, I will try my best to collect all the colors. But you do want me to see if you want me to do that and see it for yourself. Uh, make sure to follow me at Twitch. Uh, I'll try maybe on YouTube as well. But for the meantime, follow me at Twitch. That's where I mostly go to stream and just do all the necessary stuff for collecting all the costumes and everything else for this game. But our next character for arcade mode will be Mega Frieza. So yes, Mega Frieza will be our next character in Super Dragon Ball Z on the PlayStation 2. But thank you for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and also follow me at Twitter and like I said also on Twitch so you can stay up to date mostly on Twitter on what I do, what I post and if you want to interact with me you could tweet at me there or just leave a comment down in the video video itself but other than that i'll see you next time keep on playing game for life guys see you later